All right, I'll call this meeting to order. This is the October 28, 2015 Board of Zoning Appeal Meeting. Um, Judy, would you please call the roll? Yes, Ted Dinell. Here. Khan. Here. Riots. Here. Also present is Denise Swear. The, what is your title, Denise? Oh. Planning and Zoning Administrator. Planning and Zoning Administrator for the Village. All right, we have um, we have one um, hearing this evening. Um, we are not going to be able to uh, review the minutes. We don't have enough folks here that were either present or had to abstain from that last meeting. So we'll put the table those if we could, Judy. Thank you. Can I get you all to make sure your mics are right in front of you, just to make sure? Thanks. Yes, is that better? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, this is a um, hearing for a zoning variance request for 326 Phillip Street. Uh, Denise, would you like to please give us a preview sure. of this? Sure, um, this uh, actually started before I, I came into this position uh, back in uh, July. Um, they, uh, Parker Buckley and Carol Young at 326 Phillip Street had uh, submitted an, uh, a permit application for a, two, a detached two-car garage. Um, uh, once it was reviewed, um, there was, it took a little bit of time on um, the former uh, zoning administrator's part to do a little bit of research on this because there was a conflict in the code and ultimately he had to deny it. Um, that happened August 10th, I believe. And um, after that, uh, I'm not sure why then um, there was not, uh, it did not come to the Board of Zoning Appeals, but instead um, the uh, owners of the property decided to wait for the tax amendment change, which was kind of what is what was holding this thing up. Um, that's gonna be a much longer process than I, than I think they realized and so, they were hoping to get this going before winter, and now we are at the BCA for this. Um, the, the issue at hand is um, uh, the uh, statement in uh, 1260.04A3, the second sentence, accessory buildings and structures shall not occupy more than 30% of the required rear yard. Uh, the issue with that, under definitions, is required rear yard is um, the setback from the lot line uh, to the setback. In this case, that would be a 10-foot setback with a 55-foot wide lot. You're talking 550 square feet. Um, and they can only build on 30% of that. So you're talking about something that's 165 square feet. Not going to be able to build a garage. So that's why they're here. Okay. Um. Any comments or questions from uh, Dan or Stephen to uh, Denise before we open it up to the public? Ask for comments from the owner? Well, then, good. Um, if you all have any comments or anybody from the public would like to speak. Breaking. Uh, okay. Good. Public hearing anything? The public hearing, the hearing is good. Can, can I ask one? Uh, and maybe, I, maybe it's in here and I haven't um, gotten to the bottom of it yet. But there were mul this is one of those neighborhoods where there are multiple parcels together that add up to properties. Uh, is Lot 66 part of this? No. Uh, no, it's not, it's, not, it's not theirs or... It is theirs, it is but, there, it, but, but it's, it's not a part of the, of the issue at hand, no. Okay, but Lot 66 is not a buildable lot in itself? Or right, it's it? not conforming, correct. Yeah. And it is theirs and they do have a shed on that, yes. Okay. It looked like it may be material and relevant for its franchise. Thanks. Okay. Um, I'll open the public hearing. Anybody would like to speak, uh, please step up to the microphone. State your name. John Lee. Um, <clears throat> I'm Parker Buckley. And um, uh, Denise did describe the problem Correctly, and that is the existing language would have us, you know, having to figure the size of our garage based on that little 10 foot strip of land between the setback and the end of the property line, as opposed to the entire rear yard. 
when we first looked into building a garage, um, I forget the lady's name in, in, in Xenia, in Greene Green County, but I called, and she's, she described over the phone to me the process was, it would be 30% of the rear yard, you know, subject to other, other things in the, in the code, but that was her basic understanding of how this worked, and then we proceeded along those lines, and then when we made the application, um, John Young looked into the detailed language and said, uh-oh, there's this thing in there, we can't ignore that, therefore we can't, you know, first we asked for a 24 by 28 foot garage and, and that was presented in, in our request. And then he came back with, you can't make one that large, um, 24 by 24 would work, and then he said, no, that doesn't work either. I don't know, he was continuing to dig into the language. So ultimately he denied our, our request. So essentially, we're asking for relief from that one that one phrase in there about required rear yard, and then it is our intent to comply in every other way with with the zoning requirements in terms of five foot setback from the side. Um, because it's an alleyway, we'd like to take advantage of the language that says we can build on the rear lot line. Um, so we would have the eaves not aligned closely, not to the inch, but closely with the required or with the rear lot line the wall being probably a foot in from the line or something of that nature. And we are asking for the 24 by 28 foot. We don't know what the budget's gonna allow yet. I mean, we don't have a firm quote on the, on the numbers, but we would, we would also, you know, at the same time, um, be, be asking for the 24 by 28. Um, parking is available on, on our lot. Uh, the intent is to come in through the alleyway and it would be like an S-shaped turn into the, into the garage door. We're not accessing directly from the alley into the garage. So the, the garage door would be on the end facing that, uh, that shed. Um, I have pictures, I have all kinds of things, but if that makes sense, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's sufficient. Um, yeah. Uh, it should be noted too that the um, Planning Commission did approve that text amendment on September 14th. It is going before council at the next meeting. And our hope is to start you know, with, with your approval start construction this fall so we're not out there in the spring in the mud and all that sort of thing trying to do concrete work and, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Excuse me, you're referring to the amendment. It's um, changing the language of the it's limitation on accessory buildings. To the strike the sentence, in any case, accessory buildings and structures shall not occupy more than 30% of the required rear yard. Striking that. Um, I mean, presuming, we're, we're presuming that that's queued up to be stricken in, in, in council. Uh, although that's future tense, is this then approval that's pending that, that approval by council? If you were no, to I mean, that's why they're, they're appealing it to the Board of Zoning Appeals for variance on that. Also, oh, it's two variances that mean that. Or not? No. 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 It's no. Just so the variance on. If, no. if, if I, if, I mean, okay. my understanding of this, and let me make sure that I have this right, if, if once council passes, which I assume they will do, this rewritten language, this would never have come before us. And, Correct. And, right. Yeah. So Correct. we are doing this in advance of council only to give these poor people who have been the victim of sloppy uh, code <laughs> rewriting um, a, 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 a kind of head start on their construction project. Correct. Yes. Correct. I'm going to close the public hearing and bring it back to the table. Um, do I have uh, any other comment, questions, uh, or a motion? Well, I, I'll just say that this this seems to me fairly straightforward, especially given that what we're really doing is trying to fix a mistake ahead of time that council is going to get to in the fullness of their time. Uh, so so with that said, I, I would move that we approve this. Do I have a second? I guess, perhaps I could ask a question before I sure. second that. Um, I, I don't object to what Steve just said uh, right out, and, and if, if there's something clearly queued up with council that will remedy this, I, I don't mean to second guess that, although I do. Um, I, I don't like to guess too much ahead, but I, I wonder, um, uh, 
is there, maybe this will all be moot essentially, but is it, am I, if I'm understanding correctly in my recollection of the neighborhood, is this fairly common in the area? Is this conforming in practice to, to do this sort of coverage, this sort of construction uh, within the neighborhood as it's defined? I think so. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at. I, I think I generally had the impression that it was, but that's always a question yeah. that's on my mind. Are we improving, talking about improving something exceptional or, or, or sort of ordinary by practice? I think that when part of the technical review committee of the rewrite of the zoning code, the intent was to, to reinforce the idea that alley access and accessory structure access on alleys was a promoted ideal of the village. And so, in my mind, this fits to reinforce that ideal of the new zoning code. Um, I think that, you know, the language of the zoning code is understandable why it got done the way it did. Um, as long as it gets fixed, I think that, you know, this fits with the, the new intent. And, so, and you know, so, so just so that we're clear about that, um, am, I looking, am I looking south this way? Uh, you're looking north. I'm looking north. So there is already a structure that would, would be cheek by jowl to the garage you're proposing to the north of you. Is yes. that right? Yes. And there would there is already a structure essentially cat corner across the alley from what you're proposing. Uh, I'm, I'm just, it's I'm, a bit I'm of just a, trying to read this. It's a bit of a lean to sort of. I'm looking at a roof from an aerial. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. It's, it's covered. You know, kind of sort of covered footprint. There's one in the corner of the alley. So, in that sense, this does not alter really the the way that the the space is uh, right. along this alley is being utilized already. Right. Is that fair to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, not a not a wild departure from precedent. Right? Yeah. You know, and the other thing is, is, it gets those cars off of Phillip Street, which is already. <coughs> Fairly congested. You have a church there. You have the Mills Lawn. Um, it, it, it puts those cars in the. And we're close to the, the commercial zone, so parking gets pressed. It place. does get very pressed. Well, yeah, I, I'll second that motion. And can, uh, I, can I just uh, repeat that motion? That would be to approve the variance from <coughs> relief from the area requirement of no more than thirty percent in order to construct a twenty-four by twenty-eight foot garage. Wasn't that exactly what I, I told Judy? I said that exactly. What a mirror. Pay a little attention. <laughs> all right. Okay. And can you just call that vote and we're good? Um, all in favor say aye. 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 We're good. <laughs> um, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Do um, you know, have to go through the. Uh, I think on this one we don't. We don't. Because of the. I mean, we can if you want. I don't want to. I, I will. <laughs> I'm just asking. I, I will say this. Should you, yes, when would it come up if the Buckley's wanted to challenge your decision? Are they okay. likely to do that? <laughs> so it's your call. I, yeah, I can't imagine a permanent <laughs> decision. <laughs> right. I don't think under these right. conditions we need to. Okay. Um, if it's good that was it. Just as an administrative comment, um, bringing up what Dan had brought up in the email, um, Denise, this is kind of for you, but we have been trying to establish a minimum set of requirements for submission. Okay. And those and those requirements are basically a site plan with dimensions showing setbacks, showing coverage, you know, by chart of what it is. And, you know, typically an architect would do that or an engineer would do that or a surveyor would do that as a part of the submission. And we have traditionally rejected the applications if it were only the information that we've been given. We've been kicking them Question. <clears throat> this question came up in a discussion with Patty. Um, it would be rejected if it was um, a, a computer generated drawing for a shed. You're still going to require a surveyor or an engineer no. or an architect. No, oh, it's, it's the dimension plan. That's the right. Option. So, I mean, say if we get, you know, if someone did take maybe, you know, the the actual plot, they could maybe go to the recorder's office, maybe get something like that, and then draw on the dimensions that would work. You can work. go to the GIS and hand the schedule as GIS long as you just, you know, for us, I don't, I don't want to have to go through when I get a pack 
and package and look at what the side yard, front yard, rear yard setbacks are. Mm -hmm. Have to draw them on my sheet because yes. there's five of us here and we could have five different interpretations. Right? Yes. So the zoning administrator usually kind of helps the applicant fill out that minimal information and then by nature of your position, you would then determine what percentages the existing houses versus the accessory structure mm -hmm. or whatnot and just list that in your report. Okay. And then that gives us enough data to be able to then really understand the variance. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that would be really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a much more, this may be a case where it's not so crucial, but in more complex right. cases, it's an important part of the record of what's actually been discussed yeah. and agreed upon. So, yeah. uh, so it, it's hard afterward to reconstruct that without such a document. Mm -hmm. You have to. Okay. All right, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Is that a record? That hey. <laughs> we started four minutes late. <laughs>